Hi guys, what's up? It's Mansi. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss a new era examination for young Indian doctors who want to specialize. There's a lot of curiosity as well when it comes to knowing more about this exam because this sort of examination pattern has not been followed in India before. So far we know that it's going to be conducted from 2023 and there's a lot of speculation out there regarding uh, how it's going to be conducted. So what is next? Next is an abbreviation for national exit test and it's like I said going to be conducted for young doctors who want to specialize in India and for final year MBBS students. Now that's the biggest change that's going to be held. If next is going to become a part of the curriculum, it's going to be a combined exam for getting selected in a medical college for PG and also passing your final year. It's also going to mainly focus on the medical students' conceptual comprehension and problem solving abilities, which I think right now the system lacks. So that gets us to the second point. What is going to be the pattern? We know is that it's going to be conducted in two parts. So it's going to be next one which is a theory exam it's going to be an mcq based exam and then there's going to be next two which is the second step sort of practical test that you're going to give is only going to be there for you to pass your mbbs for you to pass your medical college so if you want to specialize in a field you won't have to go for both the steps it's going to determine uh, your field of specialization on the basis of the score that you get on the theory test so the mcq based theory test that's going to be held for mbbs students is going to be a deciding factor for both getting a seat in PG and also going for clearing your MBBS. So the current scenario is that right now when medical students in final year, they uh, pass their final year, they enter internship. In internship, you have to decide. You have to decide either to, you know, go up and mug yourself up in the theory knowledge of everything that you've learned so far in medical school, or you have to go to the hospital and spend all your time there learning the practical skills that are equally important. So both the things you have to really balance an internship, which becomes sort of impossible, I would say. The one bad thing I think about this test is going to be the vast syllabus that everyone has to cover. Finally, you have to not only focus on your uh, final year subject, you also have to focus on everything that you have read so far. So I think that's a very big negative point. My advice is obviously to start as early as you can when you are in medical college. <music> This year's exam was very clinical based and there were a lot of integrated questions where not just one subject was the focus of every question. You had pharmacology, pathology and medicine all mugged up into one question. So personally, I think a guiding tool, a study guiding tool is very important here. You need a guiding force that's going to tell you what is important and what is not. So personally, I have used Maro in my MBBS time. I have prepared notes from Maro. I got my subscription during MBBS and I made notes, especially for the bigger subjects like medicine, surgery, I think it's very important to get the relevant information on every topic. You don't know what is important. You don't know the application of half of the things that you're reading. So when I made notes of these vast subjects and knew the topics that are important and when I read them from the standardized books, I knew what to grasp. I think this sort of integrated approach is going to be of utmost importance for an exam like next. Suppose you do take my advice. So what you have to do is you have to watch the video lectures and then you have to make the notes for yourself so that when you come back to these notes, it's going to be very easy for you to come back to the lecture and you're going to revise the whole thing in a few minutes so uh, of course you can also go back to printed notes if you don't want to make your own notes and also give a quick read along with the lecture don't forget the question bank question bank is super important guys and start early start preparing questions early i have always told you guys to not miss out on questions don't just focus on the theory you have to get used to completely reading the question quickly and then also applying your knowledge to them that sort of thing you have to practice by doing as much questions as you you can and you don't have to be perfect at it you don't have to get a good score on the question banks at all you can just do the questions and see your progress as you go maro has grand test sequences for example you can also go for these grand tests where integrated subjects and integrated topics are going to be covered you can take these tests regularly and in a month i would say you should do at least two three tests so that uh, when you do see your progress when you do see where you're lacking you can improve on that in a very focused manner instead of no not knowing what you don't know you can just focus on the things that you don't know. So I don't know if that makes sense. 
<laughs> but you get my point you need to make your notes a single point reference so that in final year when you're revising all the 19 subjects it's not as overwhelming as it sounds you can also go for custom modules now that is something that is personalized study tool you can choose the topics and the subjects the things that you have studied and you want to test your knowledge on those subjects so the questions that are specifically catered to those you can use that it really helps students to target their weak points and to really improve upon those weak points so i hope that helps you in some way especially people who are in first year or second year mbbs guys this is very important information for you because next exam is probably going to be your pg exam and your final year exam and you need to prepare for it the take home message is don't just mug up the knowledge also know how to apply this knowledge so that is the key point of this whole exam that's going to be conducted using the knowledge that you get i hope on that end it becomes a bit clear for people who are not that confident in this exam being a very healthy change and i think that's going to be helpful it's going to save you from a lot of crying sessions <laughs> so um, i hope it helps and i will see you guys very soon bye bye take care